Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNoPhoto.com and today we're going to be doing a short video about a book I got at Christmas actually, Christmas 2013, um, by the uh, world famous photographer Herb Ritz and the book is called LA Style. If you haven't heard of Herb Ritz, um, you've probably seen many of his photos. Um, he did um, Madonna's, Madonna's True Blue video. Um, she did the he, he did the Cherish video for Madonna as well. Um, you might remember, I think it was a Vanity Fair cover he did of Cindy Crawford shaving um, Katie Lang in a barber's chair. And he did many, many iconic uh, photos of the supermodels like um, uh, Cindy Crawford, Naomi, um, Christy Turlington, and a whole host of other celebrities. His work was, I don't know, and I guess he still lives on in his work, because sadly he uh, died um, in 2002, is kind of uh, best known for his black and whites. Um, really taken almost in, it's often called like a desert light. Um, it's, it's a little bit difficult to explain, but what you'll see at the end of the video is I'll add plenty of um, photos from the book. Um, to give you a really good idea of what his photographs are like. And I have to admit, he's probably one of my favourite photographers. Um, Herb takes photographs of amazing subjects, amazing portraits of amazing looking people, which is a which is a big uh, advantage to start off with. And he does it in a, in a really simplistic, beautiful way, which you'll see when you look at the photos. Um, Herbert started off working as a salesman in his uh, mum and dad's furniture store um, and he was used to hanging around with uh, actors and actresses and he used to hang around with uh, Richard Gere and um, they were out for a drive one day and their car broke down and Herb took some photographs of Richard Gere. This is before Richard Gere was, was famous and um, a few months later when Richard Gere's first film kind of went big um, he phoned him up and said, could he use some of the uh, photos? His publicist, sorry, asked for use of some of the photos and uh, um, let him use the photos. And these photos then went into um, uh, Vogue, um, Esquire. Um, and um, after that, uh, I think it was Mademoiselle magazine, according to my notes, asked him to photograph Brooke Shields. And the rest, as they say, is pretty much history. So, with, you know, with no formal photographic training, Herberts, he became one of the most sought-after photographers of the, uh, of the 80s and the, the 1990s. I think there's many things to admire in Herberts' work. Um, I love the purity of the form and the simplicity of the composition. Um, he had amazingly beautiful subjects, we can just look at the photos to see, um, and that definitely helps. Um, but you tend to find he he finds the essence of a scene or an image and kind of distills that down into something uh, really, really quite special indeed. Um, one of the things you can do, and I recommend this, and if you look in uh, my YouTube stream, you'll see there's a video on it as well, is that I know that uh, photographic books, photo books, can be quite expensive things. I mean, go down the library and see what you can see what you can borrow but also do a google search do a google image search for herb ritz and then look at the portraits and there is uh, some absolutely stunning work that i think any photographer even if you're not really into portrait photo photography or fashion or beauty you know you really enjoy enjoy the image um, that, that he created so you know the, the sublime portraits of christy turlington and mel gibson and the old adage of uh, getting closer, you know, filling the frame, couldn't really, couldn't really be more true. Um, some of his photos you'll recognise as probably old Athena posters from the UK. I don't know if they've those in the USA. Um, this is one of the chap. Um, it's called Fred, I think, who's got the tyres and he's swinging the tyres around with his with his uh, top off. Um, there's the famous photo of, I think it's five of the biggest supermodels of the 80s and 90s. They, I think it was a promo shot for an anti-fur campaign that had been um, 
So, you know, anyway, LA style, um, this book, which I picked, I think I picked it up off Amazon for Christmas for myself. It was a Christmas present. I think it was about £25. And it, you know, it's worth every single penny. If you think your average photo magazine is probably four or five pounds, isn't it? So for four or five pounds, you can have this tome of beautiful photographs. There's a couple of essays in there as well. There's over 90, 90 plates. Um, and it really is inspirational. Um, and I really enjoy his work. Now, there's quite a lot of nudes in here um, and male nudes as well. So it's NSFW. Um, and probably not suitable for, for minors. Um, so if you're shocked by, especially the male nude, then this might not be the book for you. Um, but the, um, the fashion photography, the beauty photography is, is pretty much, I don't know, it's second to none really. I think it really is absolutely, yeah, fantastic photography. So there you go. There's Herb Ritz, um, LA style. Pick it up cheap from Amazon or your local bookstore or borrow it from your library or go on. Go on Google and do an image search for Herbert's LA style and um, you definitely will not be disappointed. And what I'll do now, at the end of the video, I'll put some stills from the book so you can you can see the photographs. Well, my name's Rob from robnonphoto.com. Remember, you can email me, scalespeeder at gmail.com. And um, thanks for watching.